What's the link between the distance from London Victoria to Brighton and this extremely slow hot moving material? Let's begin with this stuff. Bacaya Volcano here in Guatemala is an active volcano, clearly identified by the continuous amounts of lava being emitted, of which there are three kinds. Um, Pahoho? Pahoho. Pahoho? Yeah, Pahoho. I don't know. Pahoho? Uh, Pahoho. Oh my gosh. Ah? I don't know. Ah? Ah? Ah, uh, okay. Aya? Aya? Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Ah? Uh. <laughs> ah? Uh. Uh, block. 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 Okay, now this is a bit too obvious. Is it? Oh, I wonder. Um, bluke? Blo bluke? Bluke? Yeah, bluke. <laughs> yeah. The hurry, hurry. Ah, uh ah. -uh. And block. Ah, uh -uh lava is the form we have here in Pacaya. As it's extremely viscous, it moves super slowly, making it the perfect spot to enjoy a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> so what is lava and where does it come from? Going back to my original question, the distance from London, Victoria to Brighton is approximately 70 kilometers. The distance from us as to where lava is forming at this very second is also 70 kilometers. It is at this distance from us underground that the temperature is high enough and the pressure low enough for solid rock to melt into molten rock, otherwise known as magma. Right this second, under our very feet below, all over the world, rocks are melting into magma that will eventually rise to the surface somewhere around our planet and erupt as lava. So, lava is basically magma, but it's given the name lava when it reaches the surface. Magma, or molten rock, is made from a variety of minerals and gases. This is what plays a huge part as to how explosive an eruption will be. The more gas that needs to escape from the magma chamber of the volcano, the more explosive the eruption. A bit like shaking and opening a bottle of coke. Perfect. <laughs> this is why so many composite volcanoes start off with really violent eruptions and then continue to erupt gently as all the gases rush and push to escape first from the crater. Magma's gas content, mineral compositions, temperature and volcanic location can all work together to give us one of nature's most incredible firework displays.